Ghana Education Service says it has contracted the service of private investigators to clamp down on websites built to compromise the integrity of examinations by the West African Council. At a news conference in Accra, the Director General of the Ghana Education Service, Jacob Ko, said measures including forensic checks and auditing in the recruitment of invigilators and supervisors have also been taking place to prevent leakage. Well, this year's basic education certificate examination starts on Monday, June 13. 461,013 pupils will sit this year's examination from 14,267 schools. They are made up of 239,963 males and 221,050 females. 57 visually impaired candidates will also write the exams. 192,539 candidates will write the French paper, while 441,561 will sit the ICT paper. 1,598 centers will host pupils starting from June 13 to 17. The Director General of the Ghana Education Service said some of the measures being taken to check leakages include forensic checks and auditing in the recruitment of invigilators and supervisors. Through social media platforms, Mr. Luke Dito Dito and Kofi Linking, who together have more than 27,000 subscribers, have been arrested. To further check leakages, papers will be released to centers 45 minutes before start. The service again warned supervisors and invigilators against use of electronic devices. A software, Item Differential Profile, IDP, developed by the West African Examination Council, WIEC, will detect and expose centers found to have engaged in collusion and will have their papers cancelled. These schools and centers involved will also be de-recognized as exam centers. We want our children to be truthful sincere and just in writing the examinations. The GES is partnering telcos to flash out people who take snapshots of papers with cell phones and put it on social media.